Hey, hey, Scorpio, Intuitive Soul Coach here with your July 2024 career reading. Welcome back to my channel if you're returning and welcome if you're new. If you're interested in a personal reading, signing up for the monthly newsletter or entering into the free reading giveaway, you can find all of that information in the description box below the video. All right, bottom of the deck, you have the watch card. This could be a month where it's time to profit. This can be divine timing. July may be the month for you to seize the moment after a waiting period, a temporary period of hanged man energy. I'm getting hanged man for some of you. Or maybe you've been laid off or you feel like you are in need of a vacation for some of you. I do feel indecisiveness with the pendulum here and the sword, and it reminds me of the two of swords. So some of you, you felt like you were at a crossroads and you weren't quite sure. July is going to be a month where you really move forward and step into a new direction. It says you're moving in the right direction here. You're going to overcome some obstacles this month. Why? Because you have the crown card here in your energy, in your environment. This is overcoming those obstacles. This is taking charge of a situation, making progress. Some of you, it is being your own boss. You may be an entrepreneur or there may have been some indecisiveness around the role that you play in a company. You may have been taking on a lot of responsibilities. I'm getting 10 of wands energy here for you. Some of you, it's because you've been working overtime, working really hard, and you are now going to rest or play a little bit more or maybe even resign. Look at that. Resign or retire. Bottom of the deck, you do have toxic work environment. Now, it's not showing up in the energy, but I feel like there has been some sort of toxicity. Now, this could be within your mind, your thoughts. That's when showing up. I'm getting six of swords here for you. So you're moving on from it. Moving on to calmer waters. Ace of Pentacles. Brand new beginning. Brand new beginning here for you. Because you also have the rose, this is about financial relief. I am also getting here emotional relief. Some of you are really stressed out around some obstacles or around money conflicts with the sword. You weren't quite sure if you could either last another moment. You were getting burnt out, getting tired. We see the justice. Some of you may even work in the legal system. Lawyer, judge. Ooh, there's the devil. There was something toxic here. Like I said, something toxic that you are either coming into balance here or you're going to choose a new path, choose a new option. You have the rabbit here with the seven of cups. You have the hermit. You may even be going off on your own. Yeah, building up your own thing here. Bottom of the deck, eight of cups. So this also reminds me of the six of swords, but this is my eat, pray, love card. It is about needing to leave behind something that emotionally fulfilled you at one point or another, but it doesn't any longer. And if you want something deeper, more spiritual, more intuitive, you have to leave behind what was and walk towards your nine of cups, your wish fulfillment here. And the tiger is representing strength. There's something here with maybe Siberia as well. Maybe... Africa, but I also get with this eight of cups. This is a spiritual path. This is, you know, time to do something different. You are being called here to do something different, Scorpio. And your first card out is the rose. Okay, that's interesting. They're showing me someone cutting up vegetables. I believe it's vegetables. I'm seeing carrots, cucumbers. Maybe some of you are cutting up vegetables or eating them as you're listening to this video. For others of you, maybe you're a chef, okay? Or maybe you use food in your healing work or in your business. Take that as it resonates. Now, the rose card is about growth. It is job security. It can be being content, being in a loving role or a supportive role, financial relief, but I am getting an energy here of someone feeling restricted or confined due to something toxic 
in the workplace and either you're in it looking to get out or you're in it, but you feel a strong pull towards your heart because perhaps you work as, you know, a nurse or a CNA and you work in this, we'll just say, um, we'll say a, a group home of some sort, right? Maybe an elderly home nursing home and you really love the people that you've grown to connect with and your your patients the people you take care of but let's say you have a horrid boss and they put put you on overtime or they uh, ridicule you they don't listen to your ideas uh, they are not someone that feels good their energy doesn't feel good and you may feel very torn because you love working with the people but at the same time there's a couple people that make it miserable and you're trying to balance off the pros and the cons but i feel like you a lot of you are caregivers or you work as some sort of glue that holds things together maybe you are an executive assistant perhaps you work in you know it and you are someone that without you, I feel like they would definitely have a hard time, but the, the people that are causing disruption feel like you are replaceable. And maybe you are. And if that's the case, then I feel like you're looking elsewhere because your energy doesn't jive with whatever is going on here in this toxic work environment. Some of you may work with chemicals or you work with bacterial or viral energies. Uh, this can even be you work with companies or businesses to reprogram their thinking. Something here toxic with the devil. The devil can be obsessing, right? It can be fears, manipulation, codependency, materialism. It can be anything that holds us back because it has some form of attachment. And I feel like you're breaking out of that here with the justice and the ace showing up. Now you have the swords. We have another card around law and order. Pay cut, defense, being fired. Some of you took something to HR or perhaps you were in the midst of some sort of legal situation or you felt like you were treated unfairly. I feel like there's going to be some sort of either payout or a breakthrough. Whatever you want that breakthrough to be, whatever felt unfair, there's going to bring, there's going to be balance is what I see. Someone is going to reap their karma or there will be balance to the situation. We don't always see what that is and that's not necessarily our job, right? Our job is to stay in our own lane and to focus on our own choices, our own decisions, our own karmic path. And this is about breakthroughs, cutting through the fluff, cutting, cutting through the BS and making a choice. You have the pendulum here, Scorpio. There may be fluctuating income. You may be indecisive, but you're strategizing, okay? Something was temporary. You may be going through a job change. You may be making a big choice that may alter the course of your path, but I do feel like this is going to bring in more balance. It's something that does align with who you are. It may require a little bit more work. It may require more responsibility. Why? Because you have the crown here because you are a leader. You are someone that has what it takes to really deserve to wear that crown if you don't already. This is progress. It's overcoming obstacles. You're very smart. You're very intelligent. You're logical, but yet you also have, you know, the heart to back it up. And I feel like you have the opportunity, Scorpio, to make a lot of money and wealth, be wealthy, financially, spiritual wealth. If you have a business idea or if you are a business owner, I feel like July could be a month where you really prosper and look at right behind it here, you have the ornaments, which is my December Sagittarian energy. So it could be between now and the end of the year is go time, right? It's really a lot of profit between now and then. Now, of course, this can be by the next holiday and in July here in the U.S., Independence Day is a major holiday, but it can also represent celebratory energy. So you may definitely have something to finally celebrate in the month of July after a period of waiting around or hanging around for this new opportunity. Yeah, because it's time to seize the moment, seize the day. I like that. All right. 
your first card out here was right direction. So you are moving in the right direction here, Scorpio. If you've questioned, you know, should I, shouldn't I? Should I leave? Should I stay? I feel like there's going to be progress towards your highest good. And you're going to know. Your soul's going to know what feels good. Even if there's a tad bit of indecisiveness, I feel like you're going to choose the path that you haven't gone down before. So if you're contemplating, should you stay in the position you're in or should you take that new offer? I feel like you're going to take that new offer because this is something brand new with that Ace of Pentacles. Now, yes, it may require some responsibilities because I was getting that 10 of wands for you. Some of you are laying down some of the burdens and some of those burdens could be mental and emotional as well. And when you lay those burdens down mentally and emotionally, it frees you up to actually be able to do more of what you are trying to focus on, right? Maybe do more of your actual job instead of stressing or thinking about it or worrying if you're going to have a job or what that person's going to say or do or whatever it may be. But I also feel like you've carried a lot of weight on your shoulders. Maybe some of you quite literally, maybe you're in construction or you lift heavy objects here, but I feel for a lot of you, it has to do more with mental and emotional responsibilities. And yes, you may be quite busy physically. You may have a lot, lot going on, but I also feel like there is relief here showing up, financial relief. That's going to help you out. Oh, so some of you may have been micromanaged. That could be the devil, right? Someone breathing down your back, your shoulder, looking over all your stuff, trying to specifically find fault in your work. That's not fun. Some of you could micromanage yourself even. How do we do that? Well, we second guess. We tend to critique, criticize. And yes, it's good to edit our work and check over ourselves. But when it becomes a perfectionist tendency where no matter what we do, it's not good enough, that can be detrimental. That can be that devil energy of obsession, perfectionism. I also get something here around time management. Someone may be... Because we have the time, that makes sense. Someone may not be utilizing their time. Oh, we have a one stuck. Oh, look at that. We have the cup in reverse. So the cup came out with that and it says you're feeling empty emotionally or you're feeling like you're not using your time effectively because that devil is, is creating a little bit of havoc or someone, there's something with scheduling conflicts. Okay, or scheduling is being proven to be difficult. Some of you may be adjusting how you schedule. We have the overtime card. Again, 10 of wands energy, working overtime, hustling. I feel like some of you could be doing something part-time and then full-time, or you are trying to build up a business here, or you may be just juggling a lot. I see you juggling a lot. Here's some good news here for you. Look at that. We have some unexpected income coming in. Scorpio, there is going to be some news here, a payout, back pay, legal settlement, a raise, a promotion. It could even be that you pay something off and you have finally a little bit more, but oh, this isn't a little bit more. This could be a lot more. I see the numbers here, 37019 could be significant, 37019. We have a green and a red, which is stop and go. And it's also a graph, but look at that graph. It's like it skyrockets. Something, your income, something could be skyrocketing here. Your level of maybe views if you're on social media, your level of interest if people are looking at your resume, something skyrockets here. If you're selling items, something could really sell for a lot of money. You have the performance evaluation card. Scorpio, when you get this, this is a life eval. I mean, it certainly could be someone evaluating your work with that micromanage. But I also feel like you're doing this for yourself, right? You see the green face. He looks happy. And we just talked about that, right? We see the green and the red on this card. And you may be saying, is, this ener is my energy in the red or is it in the green, right? Do I feel filled up? Or do I feel depleted? And it's really good to do an assessment here. 
a performance evaluation. How's my company? How's my finances? How's my energy? We don't hear that often. We, we hear, how are you doing today? But how, how is your energy today? How are you feeling? How are you really? Because sometimes we put ourselves in that default mode of just trying to get through the day, right? Robot mode. I feel like you could be taking some time out uh, or there's definitely a time to seize the moment if you have been in that time out period. Some of you may be resigning or retiring from a position and I feel like you will have had enough. Maybe that's the 10 of wands where you've been working, working, working so you can take some time out or you can move forward, move into a new position, open up your own business, go elsewhere, travel the world, whatever it is here for you, Scorp. Now we have Ace of Pentacles. This is a gift. All aces are gifts. And this is a gift here in the physical, financial, material world. There's a beautiful pentacle on top of this, you know, owl. Owls represent wisdom. Owls represent, you know, the energy of not just the wise owl, but clarity. There's something about truth and clarity that shines through. And it almost looks like this flower at the bottom isn't quite open, but it's starting to. So perhaps there's a part of you that is starting to open up, that is starting to blossom. This could be a business blossoming. This could be you training or going through a, a new level of experience when it comes to your career. The Ace of Pentacles is a new beginning, right? It's good news in your career, your money, your home. It offers you wealth and unlimited potential, success and abundance. Some of you, this is a bonus. It's a gift. It's an inheritance. And it's your first card out here, Scorpio. So some of you, this has been like a year-long process. Some of you, yeah, I get 12 months is significant for some reason. Maybe since July of 2023, something has been shifting here for you. Some of you, it's a lot longer, but maybe physically or in the material world, the last 12 months have been significant. Now, Eight of Pentacles is the card of work. It's also eight. We're in an eight year. 2024 breaks down to an eight. That is the year of infinite opportunities, but also putting in the work. You see that this bee is working hard on that honeycomb. What comes at the end of a, a, a bee working hard, right, for the honey is that sweet honeycomb, the sweet success. And I feel like that that's what awaits. But you're going to put in the work here. It's about mastering your craft, putting in your best effort, loving your work. It is also the skills and knowledge and dedication that you put towards your craft here, put towards what it is that you want to learn. And also very fortuitous for those of you educators, those of you that are in the art field, education field. I'm getting something with design and craftsmanship. Some of you are using Canva, you're using uh, Adobe, uh, Teachable. I feel like there are some online platforms or marketing uh, tools that you're using here to create logos, business cards, websites. Or maybe that's part of what you do. You could work in marketing, analysis, or you are, I almost feel like you're giving something a facelift. This could be yourself, right? There could be a facelift of, you know, how you do your work. Maybe your work is now inspired with more creativity, more enthusiasm, a splash of color. Maybe you're adding something new to the mix here, but you're learning about it and you're actually going to gain a lot of knowledge and excel in your craft. A lot of you already excel, but you're taking something to the next level. You have the justice scale showing up here, Libra and energy of karma. This is judgment calls, it's legalities, it's equality and fairness. And this typically shows up because at one point or another, it felt like life wasn't fair, right? It felt like some choices and consequences that you made or maybe that someone else made you were tied up in in some way shape or form but it's showing up here in the upright saying you're re re conforming to a sense of balance that may have been lost or off kilter and that's the pendulum as well i also see that if your income was fluctuating in some way shape or form there's more stability coming in for you financially so perhaps you were paid by commission or perhaps you had a business 
and businesses, the income fluctuates, right? There is something here around, I keep getting like money coming to you in some way, shape or form that may have been owed. Justice can be around September, October, where there is truths, right? Truths coming out. Maybe last October, there may have been truths around the company. Maybe a company that you worked for went out of business or they, you know, laid off a bunch of people or whatever it may have been here, Scorpio. I do feel good about this for you anyway. We do have the devil. The devil is represented by this jackalope. And, well, I think that's a jackalope, isn't it? The devil is, as I mentioned earlier, it could be materialism, codependency, manipulation, fears, obsessions, addictions, but you're reclaiming your power. This is about balance, balancing out something that was quite toxic, quite karmic, and it could be leaving them behind, right? Leaving a company behind that you did a lot for, and you really help that company turn a new leaf, but you felt like you didn't get anything back in return. They may be going through a lot of change without you, or perhaps you left or they fired you. And I feel like you're better off, but they're not. Or someone is reaping the consequences of a choice that they made. Because you're really good at what you do is what I'm picking up on. Now, the Seven of Cups... If this isn't someone else, if the hermit, or excuse me, if the devil is you, it could be about you breaking out of patterns that hold you to some sort of materialism, that hold you to be maybe codependent on a job that you just maybe don't love, or you're just making ends meet, whatever that may be. But it does look like here in the near future, Seven of Cups and the Hermit, you are making the choice to head towards a new path. And remember that Eight of Cups at the bottom of the deck, it's at the bottom because you don't quite see it and it's not quite in your July energy yet, okay? Because you still have some options coming up, but we do have the Ace of Pence, so there definitely is an opportunity. Some of you could get an interview, but maybe you don't physically walk away until July, uh, August or so. Uh, for others of you, you're really taking inventory on you know what fills your cup. Like we talked about earlier, there is some form of evaluation being being made here for you. And the hermit says, you're going to move off. You've done a lot of soul searching, but you're going to go off in your own direction. The hermit is the energy here, Virgo of soul searching and Virgo season is August. So again, I am getting strong August energy for you. Even though this is a July reading and we do see new opportunities, I feel like August is like the complete freedom or it feels like, yes, finally, um, July, maybe July rolling into August. That's what it is here. Now, the Hermit, it's also, uh, it's also nine energy. But I feel with this, it's about knowledge, self-knowledge. You have the knowledge, Spirit is saying. You've done the work. You've done the work with the Eight of Pence. You have the knowledge to take something in a new direction. Maybe break away. If you work in an office of, you know, lawyers, if you work for a firm, you could be going off and doing something yourself. Or if you work in an office where you're the best one, but yet you're making everybody else money, but you're getting paid the, la the least amount, you could go off on your own. Okay, whatever this is here for you, I feel like you have the ability to really take what you've learned and weave this web. You see that there's a web all around here, but you had to go within. You had to go through maybe some hardship or some financial challenges, but look what's showing up here again, the crown. This is overcoming those obstacles. Some of you, the jackal, the devil energy with the justice is someone power tripping, right? They were really going through a power play, power trip. Uh, they may have thought they were the boss and they weren't, or they were some sort of tyrant leader, or they were taking charge of things and they really, they had no right to. Okay. But I feel like there is progress here showing up for you in the month of July. All right, Scorpio, let's take a look at the wisdom of the Oracle. What do we have? We have clean it up. And then we have yin, yang energy, which is action. Okay. So yeah, makes perfect sense with your reading. Something about cleaning it up, 
cleaning up the mess here or finalizing, finalization before some sort of action is taken. And look at this. Wow. You see the 21, which is the world, and you see the one card. So it's almost as if, you know, something is, is ending, but you still have some work to do here. There could be a little bit of a time lapse or a time gap. Maybe some of you are resigning or retiring or you put in your notice in some way, shape, or form. I'm going to read both of them to you because I feel like they came out together for a reason, specifically in that number order as well. So 21 is about getting to the core of a situation. And it also says freedom from a burden, cleaning house, sweeping away what's no longer needed, Scorpio. Simple things like opening your mail, paying bills, sorting out your timetable, making lists and getting organized is what this symbol means when it comes to your work. Make time for yourself too. This card is a sign that you may be overburdened and overwhelmed. It's okay to say no. You'll prosper even more if you do. Yes. Okay, because we have the devil, I am going to read to you the protection, which is like the reversal in both of these cards here, because some of you may be stuck to some attachments, and I want to read the reversal to kind of help you get out of that a, a bit. Is it possible that you may be focusing too much on other people right now, trying too hard to be helpful? Does taking on what belongs to others make you feel needed or desired? Perhaps you think it's your calling to relieve people of their burdens, but what is the cost to you and to them? Don't clean up someone else's side of the street. You're not helping by freeing him or her of their responsibility. You're also not doing yourself any favors, and you just might be adding an even greater strain. You are loved as you are. You don't need to be needed to be loved. If that doesn't sum up the Ten of Wands, wow. So some of you, this can be people-pleasing, right? Uh, they can be, like we said earlier, responsibilities, carrying the weight of the world on your shoulders. No is a complete sentence. You don't have to take on everything. You know, there's a new beginning coming in for you here with this one energy, which is the masculine principle of movement and creative activity. It's the power to make things happen. It's all about action, Scorpio. Projects, partnerships, and all matters relating to your business, I love this, are out of the obstacle phase. Look at the crown. It's showing up in your energy. What does it say? Overcoming obstacles. So you're going to soon find that you are, maybe it's as soon as you focus on your own lane here, okay, or clean up your side of the street, so to speak. This is when you're out of the obstacle phase and onto the make it happen phase. Now is the time to stake your claim and get things done. While you can expect to be busier than usual, this card tells you that you have all the energy and vitality you need to accomplish your goals. Abundance is waiting for you to claim. I like this. Yeah, it is yours to claim here. And we see that there's going to be celebrations, right? Celebrations, extra money, mature investments. Some of you, look at that retirement at the bottom. Be mindful of the tendency towards impulsive action, overconfidence, and aggressive behavior. That can also be someone else with that devil. Think before you act, lest you find yourself in a situation that will lead to uncomfortable consequences. Be sure you really want what you're chasing after because you might be sorry when you get it. The appearance of this card isn't cause for fear, for life is all about learning lessons. Practice temperance, diplomacy, and thoughtful consideration before making a move. All right, I like that one as well. So a lot of lessons. So that's part of the balance, part of, you know, maybe that contemplative energy here. But I feel like this is more aligned with the out of the obstacle phase because we have that crown showing up here and onto the make it happen. And that's why you have the ace of pentacles showing up here for you, Scorpio. All right, let's get a message from the wisdom of the oracle. What do we... Or, Never mind, we just did that. Let's get a message from your spirit animals. And at this time, Scorpio, I just ask if you can, please close your eyes. Take a nice deep breath in from your solar plexus chakra, your belly area. 
And upon your exhale, tune into your third eye chakra, the area between your eyebrows and your forehead region. And I want you to imagine the first animal or animals that show up in your mind's eye. Now this could be an animal that flies high in the sky. It could be an animal that swims deep in the sea. Perhaps your animal is wild, magical, mystical, or even domesticated. This could be a pet that's crossed over the rainbow bridge, visited through your dreams, your meditations, Maybe even a pet that you have at home or one that's crossed your path recently in the great outdoors. There is no right or wrong answer, Scorpio. And if you need a moment, just pause the video and come back when you're ready. And for those of you that would like to be entered into the free monthly reading giveaway, all you need to do is drop your animals, whether you have one or five, you can put them all in the comment section below the video. And I will enter you personally into that free reading giveaway. So please be sure to hit that subscribe and bell button so you don't miss that notification. And I had to pause there for a moment as I seen the first card or the card that was flipped out. You guys can't make that up. You have B spirit. What did we say about this bee earlier? I think we literally said the words sweet results await. You have card seven, bee spirit. It says sweet results await. This is spiritually destined and divine. It's part of your path, but you've also worked for this too. So I like the, the sweet results showing up here. Some of you may be born on the seventh. You could be in a seven personal year, a life path seven, or even 11. Some of you may be 67, 66, 64, or 45 years old. Next, we have wolf spirit. Turn knowledge into wisdom. And you are wise. You have a lot of wisdom. Some of you are even old souls. But you are taking what you've learned, lessons from the past. And we talked about the wisdom of the owl. You're going to turn it into something tangible. Because you have that wise owl on your side here. Next, you have butterfly. Transformation is beautiful. Yeah, you are on the cusp of, of a major transformation. Some of you have been going through this. And I do feel with the 11 energy, this is manifestation, right? This is manifesting into something quite abundant for you. Whatever this career path, job opportunity, new investment, new contracts, new creative endeavors. Trust in the magic is what White Raven Spirit says. Trust in the magic Next, you have wasp. Wow, how interesting. I've never received the wasp and the bee. And I feel like, oh, and I feel like the situation with the devil, it stung, right? The situation with the whatever was unjust, with the, the balance, right, being thrown off. Wasp spirit says life stings. But out of something that, that stung, the bee says sweet results will await. You're putting in that hard work into that honeycomb. And then lastly, we also have parrot. Watch your words. Your words create your reality. Your thoughts create your reality. What you think about, you bring about. What you believe is what you are manifesting into your reality. Do you believe you're worthy? Do you believe you have what it takes? Are you telling yourself that you are good enough, that you're intelligent, that you have what it takes, right? And I feel like... There is something here about vision, trusting your vision, believing in your vision. Some of you may have even created a vision board, Scorpio. Okay, I do see something coming alive. But be sure to be mindful of your words, how you talk to others, how you talk to yourself. Because just like a parrot, the parrot repeats back to you what you say. The universe repeats back to you what you say, how you, you know, believe and how you act towards that. There is something here about truth and alignment coming together. 
All right, and last but not least, let's get a message from the Soul's Truth deck and take a look at what your soul has for you. Advice from your soul. Advice from your soul. What if it was easy? It doesn't have to be hard. Call in the universe, the stars, the angels, and all their powers. Find the solution. Would you take the next step if it were easy? It's time to expect ease, call in grace, and receive guidance. You are supported. Today's soul action, list 10 possible ideals for your soul's current calling. Lean into ease. It's here. You just have to say yes to it. Y-E-S. Just say yes to it here. And I see you heading towards that path here with the Ace of Pentacles. This is a beautiful energy here, Scorpio. Yes, you've gone through some struggles, some financial setbacks here. You've gone through some power plays, maybe even some insecurities within oneself. Perhaps you've held yourself back through self-sabotage, through perfectionism, through procrastination, whatever it may be here. Trust that celebrations are on their way. Trust that extra money is on its way here and be open to receiving the blessings and the miracles that the universe is providing. But pay attention to your thoughts, your beliefs, and what you focus your time and energy on. That is what I have for you, Scorp. I hope that resonates. If so, please hit that thumbs up button. Feel free to share, like, subscribe, and do comment your power animals in the comment section below the video and be sure to hit that subscribe and bell button if you haven't already. Thank you so much Scorpio for tuning in. Lots of love.